I'm talking about a deeper meaning to the word Project Bluebeam, right? Oh, okay. Of course, I know what we mean by Project Bluebeam, but what I mean is that there's something else to it also, right? That there is something uh, deeper there. And this is why I went back to the fact that all of us have to have our own buffering engine between us because, check this out, Project Bluebeam gives us a buffer. Some of us don't want aliens, okay? Some of us, some of us are like, dude, I do not want aliens in my aperture. No, the answer is no. And so we have Project Bluebeam. They get to believe that aliens are the government pretending to be aliens, okay? Now those people, their consciousness is now happy, right? Because their aperture is allowed to say the government's lying, <laughs> right? The government's lying. So my aperture doesn't have aliens in it because the government's lying and they're making this up. So, so now we have Project Bluebeam is satisfying aliens for people that do not want aliens in their aperture. Now, enter Jordan Sather. I want aliens. I'm willing to believe that there's a blue space chicken. I want a blue space chicken. And millions of people have said, I like the way this kid thinks. <laughs> We definitely need a blue space chicken. Can you give me a blue space chicken? And what does Project Bluebeam say? Blue space chicken, coming right up. No problem, right? Order up. Here's the blue space chicken. Here's how it works. Here's where it is. Jordan Sather's happy. All of his followers are happy. And guess what? The people that don't believe in aliens, they still have their aperture, don't they? Because they get to point at Jordan Sather and says, well, that guy's lying. The government's lying and that guy's lying. And Jordan Sather gets to point at the people that don't want aliens and say, those guys are lying. They don't know what's up. So now you have, what, 2 million apertures are satisfied with one Project Bluebeam. It's freaking brilliant. I mean, it works perfectly. And now, check it out. Enter Ashley Stennett. She believes in forest people. When I use the word Bigfoot, I've been told that that's derogatory. I don't mean it that way. She believes in Sasquatch or, or, or forest people. Project Bluebeam solves that because it allows her to see that energy displayed to someone who believes in aliens will appear as an alien and energy displayed to someone who does not believe in aliens but does believe in the energy will display itself in its true form as a forest person. In other words, her aperture is able to see alien life, a different kind of energy, just like you mentioned, the, the, the waves, they can process this under one roof and it still be called Project Bluebeam because we have aperture now. We understand aperture. That means all nine of us can see the exact same energy, but interpret it in different ways, depending on the aperture that we want. And that's a, that, to me, that's a profound way of looking at reality. And it also solves a lot of freaking problems with rendering, with buffering, with reasons why the lies are there, with all the deception. It feels like deception always means life's broken. But when you look at it this way, you see that no, deception is, is glue. It's holding all this together. It's the tapestry that makes all this work. You know, The reason why the fabric is flexible is because we have deception. It's a different, it's a different way of processing. So everyone does have their own truth. Everyone writes their own movie and writes their own ending. Yeah, because that experience, th that experience is going to be their own truth. And their, their experience would be uh, real. We still verify. Okay, so let me explain it this way. If, if what I'm saying is true, all of us have a central pineal gland. All of us are receiving energy in the exact same way. It's our record needle. And that record needle is always picking up the exact same type of energy signature. All of us are receiving the same energy signature from each other, but that energy signature is the subterranean voltage of life. We don't see that. We see the imbued life. We see a life of color, of material, right? Of sound, of, of emotion, of feeling, of touch, of sensation, and of smell. And we see this imbued life because our pineal gland has rendered it for us. We can only see what the pineal gland renders. 
we can't see the front side, or maybe we can, but none of us have, have told each other how to see the front side of the pineal, the signal before it's turned into, right? Because the pineal takes that one signal and turns it into sight, sound, touch, feeling, taste. So all of us are receiving this primal signal of the ether, but each of us are experiencing it differently because we're running it through our rendering engine and it's displaying to us. Some of us can render at 60 frames per second. Some of us have gotten older and we don't render as fast or some of us render faster because we're older, however it works, right? We're gonna, some of us render sound, some of us render sight, some of us don't. Some of us have no taste buds. I know people that don't have, don't have taste. So they're not rendering those things and they're, they're rendering different things in different ways, right? Dogs will see in black and white, but then they render smell and color on top of it. So we're in charge of how we render that signal, but we can't really see the other side of the signal. And I'm under the impression that the other side of that signal, every one of us is receiving that exactly as it is. If, if there's any truth, Randy, it's that signal, right? The signal on before it gets turned into sight, sound and everything else. Right. Right. So that way, build, oh, building seven as an example, right? So some people they don't, don't filter it or they filter it out. Other people don't. But to me, that is like, okay, the truth was, well, building seven is the, you know, and maybe something else happened too that none of us see. You know? Yep. Yep. The, 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 before the aperture, if you could look at the raw energy before the aperture, something in the ether happened in the location that's been imbued with building seven. <laughs> in other words, the, the ether in that spot did something and, and we rendered it as it fell to the ground. And, and some of us rendered it as it fell to the ground because of this or because of that or because of that. Uh, even the fact that it fell to the ground is something that we rendered. That the, the truth of it is actually something more subterranean. It, it's okay. So, if this explains it right now you're hearing me speak english but really technically guys if you were to truly look at the front of the signal you would see oh one one oh one one oh one one oh one 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 oh one 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 right because because this is all coming to you broadcast digitally right so the signal in front of the pineal gland would just be o's and ones and, and that's what i'm saying consciousness we can't see that binary code or if we can we're not able to express it or talk to each other that's why each of us can see the exact same thing, but render it differently, render it differently through our apertures. Our discernment in aperture is that important to us that, that we're willing to spend our time to just talk about that. That's huge, right? We are at the gym right now, guys. We're at the gym. Do you see what I mean? This is the discernment gym. We are working out, man. That's why we're here. Discern, it's time, it's time to discern. Go, go, you're a lie, you're a lie. You're the truth, baby. I don't know, I don't know. And when we do that to the system, when we do that to these rituals like Building 7, it tells me that the most important thing, more than controlling humanity, more than turning us into slaves, what's more important to these people is us learning to see that they're lying. That is profound. That shows them it's more important than money, power, influence, wealth, control. What's more important than all those things is us reaching enlightenment. It's such a beautiful lie that we're able to fool ourselves so well with it. Just like we fool ourselves all the time, right? With our own autonomy and, oh, they're here to torture me. And really you're just, you're putting yourself in chains and saying, oh, don't you, don't you dare take me you know, as, as you're handing yourself over. Yeah. It's the capacity for us to lie to ourselves. is just stunning. Like we're so good at it. It's beautiful. Imagine if we use that to tell ourselves the truth, just man, that'd be amazing. Yeah. That, that was the whole point of uh monsters uh, Inc. Right. Is it was pretty much everything was based on fear. And then they realized that if you, uh, base it on laughter, it's going to be a thousand times more powerful than yeah. fear. Yeah. It was so brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's a perfect analogy. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah.